Hi art friends! Hi art friends! Looking very trendy today. I wanted to be dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> so if you haven't seen the title of this video, we are going to be checking out some hashtag... Let me do this with my fingers because that's what all the cool <laughs> oh guys <my> do. <laughs> Trendy art supplies! <laughs> yeah, so these are art supplies that I have basically seen like every cool YouTuber using and especially trendy like Instagram artists, they <laughs> so, all have this stuff. So naturally it's come to the channel now to die. <laughs> <laughs> so if you thought it was cool, you probably won't for much longer. So what have we got, hun? So, we paid extra for the service because, you know, if we're paying for trendy things, we might as well pay for I that extra I want the full service. trendy service! <laughs> We sure. paid to get our names written and engraved on things. It looks pretty good. Show them, show them. Okay, let me show you what we've got first. So we've got a package from Mossery. We bought this ourselves. Yeah, that's fun. All of this is bought by us, so. Yeah, so we've got two sketchbooks in here. Yeah, but also... Ba -ba -da -da -da. It's these, the Viva colour sheets, in case you haven't seen them before. They kind of remind me of those um, painting by... Painting by magic by watercolor numbers? books. No, can't you remember the kids once where you just used water to like Painting activate. by magic? God, no. What, what the heck's that? Oh, stick this to the main booklet. But yeah, the the really cool thing about this okay. is that most people have noticed that we're like sent these for free. I think they've got like literally just the booklet. But we went really hardcore and paid for that engraving on the front and we'll give you a nice close-up. <laughs> oh, it all looks so aesthetic, guys, I promise. <laughs> It'll make this video so good. <laughs> Let me have a look. I want to open something. Look at that, isn't it cute? Oh yeah, we'll have to do close-ups because it does have like our name on them. We both got different types of like sketchbooks, mm -hmm. so mine, I think I got a mixed media one. And mine is strictly a watercolour paper one, which I thought was pretty cool. Let's actually have a feel of the paper to see if the seem different you to wanna, each other. You want to cup a feel, my dear? Because I'm not sure with mine if it's like 50% watercolour paper, 50%... There you go, that's one sheet. Oh, mine's definitely got more wiggle than yours. Oh, I quite like that. Mine's nice and firm, just like me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's, let's do it, hun. I'm kind of excited to finally try these out, because so many people have tried them, but now it's time for, for, what are we, like two years late? These mastery sketchbooks have three things I want to improve, change, or achieve. <laughs> so number one can be my life. <laughs> so is that what you're improving? Yeah. It's a big one, that's why it's at the top. <laughs> better, better underline that one. Um, what else do I want to change? I want to change. <laughs> I don't know what else I want to change. My life pretty much encapsulates everything I want to change about myself. This video to get 10,000 likes. Oh no. <laughs> Everybody's doing it. I want to be trendy. And this is what all the trendy people are doing. And the third and final one for you to subscribe. If you haven't already. I like how you've written that in red. Because Lord knows we need it. <laughs> Do you want to? I suppose I should ask, do you want to swatch these in my watercolour sketchbook, honey? No, I want to swatch them in my sketchbook. But yours is not a watercolour one! Mine's what? mixed media! That is not very trendy of you. <laughs> <clears throat> crimson. Whoa. Well, that is very crimson, isn't it? Whoa, I was not expecting that. Okay, swatching's boring, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the review. <laughs> you know, guys, I just asked this one if you'd like to be recorded, and she went, it'd be nice. <laughs> trying the water colours. You got very offended because I, even I started swatching these and she got very upset. Look at that! <laughs> You're moving it away! <laughs> oh god! I feel like I need to start with the same colour you did. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, actually, I might start with the deep pink. It's hard to tell like if you've got enough or not got oh, enough. Oh, trust enough. me, it's like deceptive how much you can like layer Whoa. on. Say it, like, <clears throat> get in there, let me see. You know, I have to admit, first impression of this is that I was really expecting them, and I was kind of excited that they'd be super watered down because it looks like a thin layer on paper. But, like, look at that. It, that's like you've taken it from, like, a full pan or something. It's okay if I have a quick swatch in your sketchbook. Oh, Just, she no. wants to use it now. <laughs> I want to compare because, like, mine's mixed media paper and yours is the watercolour paper. Oh, I suppose so. If that's what she wants. Let's see. Oh yeah, you're gonna. Yeah, that's the one that I used first. Yeah. 
Why are you swatching the same one? I can do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a comparison. You're doing the same thing. No, I'm comparing because I've... Granted, okay, I've accidentally picked a different color. <laughs> it's gonna like... <laughs> this seems like such a... <laughs> a duh review. <laughs> I'm loving it so far. I feel so enlightened. <laughs> I think yours is better for watercolour than mine is. <laughs> you don't say! <laughs> there you have it, guys. The watercolour sketchbook is better for watercolour. <laughs> well, if you look at how it's like handled the watercolour yeah, okay. on that. Let me get let me uh, get in close to this so you guys can see. So and that's what we're working on with the this is the watercolour sketchbook there. Like I, I don't know how to describe how it's went on with mine, but it kind of looks like it's sort of like soaked into yeah. the paper well, a bit on, more. On this one, the watercolour one, the lines are very sharp, very yeah. fine. Yeah. Whereas yours, I would say, has a bit more dither to it. And it's like feathered out, I guess you yeah, could say. Yeah, and I'd say can you see in the middle why it's kind of like darker? Let's let's enhance there and see. It, it's almost like um, it might have like eaten the paper slightly. So maybe it's only intended for like really light washes of watercolor, which wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. Most sketchbooks tend to be. Mm -hmm. So it light feathering. It's certainly like it's certainly not like impossible to use on mixed media, but it does look a bit hungry. Okay, thank God you survived. <laughs> With the plastic cover on yours, I can't really like bend it fully backwards, so if you're wondering why I've got it sort of open, that's why. Be careful with me cover, Queen. Okay, so I've swatched all the colours, and I have to say, like, I am say? really impressed with Ooh. how vibrant the colours are. Yeah, those because, actually look pretty good. Like you were saying, considering we're just sort of adding water to like these paper sheets, I was mm. kind of expecting, like I've got actual watercolour pans that are way less pigmented than this, <laughs> so that's impressive. It's really, really vibrant. I really like them. Like if I was to pick any kind of like faults with it, Ooh. my only sort of like nitpick is that a few of these colours mm. feel a little bit sort of samey-samey. So yeah, like, I mean, well, I'm no real good judge. <laughs> the one that you just pointed at looks the same to me. Yeah, I think there's like a yellow and like an orange, and I think these two are meant to be like shades of brown, but even then they, they look, look the kind of similar to the reddish. But considering it's like the quirk of having them in like a little... I mean, yeah, I mean, that, that's something that you can like put in a bag or even in your pocket, I guess. And that's actually super convenient. And I was actually worried um, when I saw other people on like Instagram using these and stuff that... I was thinking like when you wet these and then you close it, does that mean that the pigments all like mush together? Oh, okay, yeah. But because it's got like these little tracing paper sheets Oh, in it keeps it all them. clean. Oh, yeah, cool. it, it keeps everything like separate. That's nice. It just has like that nice sort of like childhood quirk. <laughs> you know, when I was talking about it before, but does anyone remember those magic coloring books? Yeah, okay. Let's make it the poll. Do you remember magic coloring books? Another thing that I wanted to mention as well is that I'm so glad, like, of course, it's got like the color names underneath. Shout out to Sap Green. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> but there's some of the colors where I wasn't really reading like the color names underneath. And I was sort of like expecting a specific color. Okay. Like, let me get to like a specific one. Okay, so these swatches, like if you want to see like the colors at the bottom, but I mean, kudos to them, they've got like- Yeah, these they've got the names, which they've is- They've got names underneath them. I appreciate them. that. And I can see why they do that because- Peacock blue. Yeah, that one's peacock blue. And that one's Viridian. And that really shocked me when I was swatching it. Cause but like- But it looks pink to me. Yeah, it does. It's got like a pinky purple kind of like sheen to That's it. That's so strange. But it must be the magic of paper watercolours. I have but... to put my trust in Viva okay. watercolours. Especially with your colour blindness. I know Adam gets so fed up if we mention <laughs> it on the channel. It's like that meme where it's like, nobody, nothing, Steph. Adam is colour blind! <laughs> okay, Watch right. this right. Okay, we're picking I'm up looking. the pigment of it. Okay, and this is Viridian, right? Yeah. What the? Look how dark of a green that is. I don't understand. It's magic, isn't it? Maybe that's why they, maybe they've had to name them, you know, because people might be like, that's not Viridian, but it is. <laughs> and the same with this one, like, you can literally see it on the paintbrush with this one. Because mm -hmm. I was watching it and I was like, have I just watched the right one? <laughs> oh, that's so weird. Look at that. <laughs> it's like, where's that color come from? <laughs> <laughs> that is so strange. Oh, wow. That is a really nice uh, blue, though. 
That's a very Adam blue. Yeah, I like that. I can see that one. <laughs> you can see it. I can, I can make do. Maybe I'll use that one. I'll use my sketchbook, even Good. though <laughs> I don't think it's going to be like the best for it. Oh, you can use mine if you want to. And I think it's good as well that we've tested this on like two different types of paper because yeah, if yeah. we'd only tested it on mine, would we have given it a bit of a, a soggy review? <laughs> no, no one likes a moist review. <laughs> I just want a moment to appreciate the fact that you've got four different thumbnail designs over here. I'm a thumbnailing queen, honey. Can you spin that sketchbook around and just give us a, a glimpse? Of this is my trendy insp. Oh. Which one are you going with then? I might just do a mix of like two of them. Which two? Maybe like those two. Like these two. What is it about these two that you want the, to They just with? speak the most trendiness to me. <laughs> This one up here, it's like that Robin Hood aesthetic. Yes, but that's old and therefore not trendy. Oh, so we okay. must be trendy. <laughs> what have you drawn? Show me. Oh, well, you can just about sort of see something happening there. It's a very trendy nature sprite, dear. Yeah, it's going to be naturey. I love it. I can't wait for the trendy colours to be applied in our trendy sketchbooks with our trendy paints. I was telling Steph that I'm a trendy boy and she turned the camera off. <laughs> it's very rude. When you're trying to be trendy, you have to capture these moments, son, when I'm a trendy boy. It's okay. The the camera's rolling now. The camera doesn't lie and I'm a trendy boy. <laughs> <laughs> you okay there, honey? I like your drawing. Do you? Well, little do the people at home know that while I've been drawing, Steph's just been playing Animal Crossing <laughs> the whole time. It was very essential. There's a gardening event on. Oh, okay. I'll let you off, dear. But I think I'm ready to use some of these. Where's the blues? I want my blues. There's peacock blue, which I is... I want to see how well you can find all the colours yourself. Magenta? No. <laughs> Pers Persian blue? I don't remember that one. Let me have a look at this. Oh god, that's very... <laughs> that's not... Oh god. Um, hmm. That... I've... Uh... Is it because you're trying to, like, dilute the colour? Yeah, and I can't! What is this? Ooh, oh. that's a watercolour effect right there. Is it trendy, though? <laughs> watercolour effects, though. Are they? Yeah, you get like thumbs up on Instagram for that. <laughs> you know, considering you haven't had to go back to the paint palette in a while, you've managed to make that pigment last. Well, I'm the king of watering stuff down, <laughs> yeah, aren't that's I? That's so, true. But hopefully, with me, these will last a while. With Steph, I, I, I can't speak on behalf of Steph. <laughs> Maybe they'll last like this video. <laughs> well, those are nice stripy trousers, okay. Maybe we'll let those dry and see. I wonder what these will look like when you've like used them all up. Like, does it just turn into, like, empty pieces of card or something? Ooh, like, it'd be cool if it turned into, like, yeah, just like a blank sketchbook. That'd be kind of cool. But I honestly, I don't know. If to use, like, the entire pigment off any of the colours, we'll give you guys a look. Yeah, and if, if any of you guys have, you know, sh share with us. Let us know. Is tie-dye still trendy, or was that, like, killed off in the 60s? <laughs> just go for it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you know... Trendiness can be whatever you want it to be. Oh, if that's the message of today's video, I like it. <laughs> Trendiness can be whatever you want it to be, guys. Yeah, I like that. I like just leaving Adam to do whatever he wants to do. <laughs> you know that's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> just leave me to go and do something for a while. You'll come back and like it'll be on fire. <laughs> like, oh, we're having so much fun. More. More pigment for my, for my tie dye. Oh, 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 there we go. This water brush is a bit constipated. <laughs> Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh. No, are you going to be patient and let this dry? Oh my heck! I'm gonna dab. <laughs> when you're not looking, I'm just gonna dab this all away. <laughs> I ain't got time for that, honey. And yes. I'm making an effort as well to not say anything about colours because I want to see like. This is yeah, it is orange. It says it. It <laughs> says it's orange. I want to see what you just like get up to when you're left to your own devices. Again, never a good thing. <laughs> All magenta. Look at that. It's all speckly. Looks like it's gone. We had some mold in our old house to look like this. <laughs> it's making yeah, me reminisce. It does look really strange. It's almost like it's got like a gold sheen on top of it. Bit mouldy. I might. I <laughs> <Bit> might. <laughs> <laughs> I might let it dry a bit first, and then carry on. Okay, I'm gonna try an experiment with some new things that I have absolutely zero confidence in. So if this goes wrong, I'm gonna blame a friend who I've been watching on Twitch recently, who's been live streaming their art process. Oh, okay. It's a different art process to mine. And because they're also sketching like a watercolor pencil and I've also sketched this in a watercolor pencil, he usually goes over it with a light wash. I feel like I'm asking for trouble doing this. <laughs> Can I just say I love the mindset of if it goes wrong, blame someone else. <laughs> blame Matt. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, I'm excited to see. I, I'm excited to see where this goes. Oh, then, I hope then. I don't lose like the entirety of my sketch. Let me put this on manual focus, and I want to make sure we capture every, <laughs> no! every inch of this process that you've been bigging up. Okay, so she's laying down a nice flat. Rock. I have no idea what I am doing. Confidence levels minus ten. <laughs> Can we just say I'm very impressed on how you managed to get rid of all that pigment I left on the brush. <laughs> Thank you. Well, like, well done, and that was very good going. <laughs> <laughs> it's frightening me the more I do it. <laughs> okay, we've got a very pinkish hue. Is that gonna help anything? Lord knows, let's find out. Maybe he's just a bit bruised. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even ask him, like, why do you do that? I'm just like, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> That's bravery, dear. I'm no, proud right. of you. I wanna go with the crimson. I don't know why I'm looking at them, because they don't look how they look. It really confuses me. Here we go, crimson. Oh gosh, that's so red. That is very red. It's Definitely bruised. Looks, looks like he might have even been bleeding, but that's okay. I can't get over how red they are, like... Oh yeah, I forgot because I've wet, like, the paper already. It's, like, bleeding into, like, everything because everything is wet. <laughs> you, like, just forgotten how watercolours work. <laughs> this is all just a learning experience, honey. That's very... It's very brave to do that on video, you know? I'm a very brave woman. You are. A lot of art YouTubers don't show their weaknesses, I feel. They only show the good stuff. Not me. But like, <laughs> I show you the bad stuff. <laughs> like Steph's like showing you a new watercolor technique that, granted, she says she doesn't know much about. In the previous video, I drawn Pokemon from memory and proved that I do have some kind of long-term memory problems. So it's go, it's great. I'm I'm loving the positivity, honey. The adventure. It's great. So while I've been working on this, behind my back I felt like I could smell like a really alcoholy smell. <laughs> and I've turned around to this. <laughs> you, you, you were borrowing me, so I wanted to be trendy. Do you like my colours? I thought this was blue, but it's very pink. I think the that pink one's one, definitely not blue. <laughs> the pink's the best one so far. The yellow one, well, we had a bit of an accident with the yellow one. <laughs> Let's get a nice little close. That, the pointy finger's the best one, look at that! What happened to that middle one? Which one? This one? Yeah. Oh, she's a bit hairy, I'm sorry. I like my nails, I think I look very trendy. I think, I think I'm ready to carry on being trendy. Don't you want to let your nails set? You dare get that on the bed sheets and I'll have you. <laughs> I will be fine. <clears throat> no, that's my side, get off <clears throat> stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> You're so protective of the bed, dear. God, I'm so trendy, look at me. <laughs> God, I'm so trendy. <laughs> I wanted to do an orange because I wanted it to have like a summer tan. <laughs> Just so you get a hair stuff. Oh, 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 that's classy. <laughs> Does anyone want to come to Adam's salon? His speciality is hairy manicures. <laughs> is malting all over you. <laughs> I'm hoping if I can spread it out, I might need to add a bit more water to it just to make it a little bit less intense because at the minute, she looks like she's been tangoed. Do you remember that? Do you remember? You've been tangoed. That that was like that's like an English thing. So, a lot of you guys might not get it, but which colour did you use for that? Dusk orange. Yeah, a lot of the oranges the they look kind of yellow to me. Oh yeah, the, the pepper towels definitely think? help get it up. You're speaking to the master of watering stuff down. I think I've got this. <laughs> That's all it takes, honey, the tiniest amount of me. <laughs> these will last like my entire life. <laughs> I'll never have to use like these again. Are you gonna use any nail varnish on her? No, no. <laughs> we have got a nail varnish. It's a bit old now, but we have got a nail varnish video, by the way, guys, if you're uh, if you're curious. I can add that on screen if you wanna watch us. I think we have two. Paint with me. Yeah, we did two, yeah. Might have to let the face dry a little bit. Um, and maybe do the eye, because that's probably something I can do quite pigmented, so... Ooh, let's go with peacock blue. Well, that's looking pretty. <laughs> All the pigments on there. <laughs> Honey! <laughs> there you go, there's today's art, guys. Well, because this is a mixed media sketchbook, I thought instead of like going over it lots with watercolours, which is probably going to destroy the paper eventually. Yeah, that's true, yeah. I thought I'd start going over it with like pencils, and I found Ooh. this fountain pen in... 
Adam's pencil case. So I was like, I want to have a play with this. So my, my, my co- is it Kaweco? I don't know how you pronounce it. Does it have a name? Kaweco. Oh, it's in a very fancy font. Well, it's trendy. That, hence why you're using it in this incredibly trendy art piece, dear. Oh, thank goodness. Is there any other trendy people out there who also use this? Oh, there has to be, guys. Comment down below if you're trendy. <laughs> Comment if you're trendy. Yeah. I know they will. Trendy people aren't afraid to speak their mind. <laughs> Alright, my little trendy family. Here's what we managed to create using some trendy art supplies. I actually really enjoyed using them. Like, um, these in particular, like the Viva watercolours. I could see myself using them forever, so I- Forever. <laughs> <laughs> I am very impressed. But don't forget to like and subscribe so we can see you next time for another Doodle Date. Doodle Date! Bye, guys! Bye!